Okay, so I want to give you a tour of my 2009 Itasca Ellipse today. Um, it's my baby. I've been taking great care of it ever since I bought it brand new from the dealer in 2009. Uh, but we bought a new one and uh, I'm going to need to uh, to sell this. So I want to give you a quick tour today. So we'll start with the outside. Um, this model has a Maxim chassis, which means that it has a raised rail so that the storage can go all the way through without any obstruction from the suspension. It really makes it handy to have, uh, you know, the slide out here and then all of these open compartments, many of which go all the way through to the other side and give you a lot of storage underneath. I didn't even take things out just so you could get some idea of what's in there. Uh, aluminum wheels all around uh, and two awnings. That awning is an electric uh, wind uh, controlled as is that one so you, you get pretty well awning coverage on uh, both sides of the coach. This coach comes with a 400 horsepower uh, Cummings engine, uh, six-speed uh, Allison transmission. Uh, that extra horsepower rating over the 350s and the 380s I found to be particularly helpful uh, when taking some of these mountain grades. Uh, this will climb uh, 10, 11,000 feet uh, without uh, any problem at all. Uh, the front is protected by a diamond shield cover, so uh, there's not a mark on the front. Everything cleans up really well when you're driving. Uh, chrome uh, heated rear view mirrors. Uh, another slide on this side, which is about uh, half the length. The one on the passenger side is about three quarters. You have a 40 gallon uh, tank uh, for LP and the, uh, you have LP backup for the refrigerator. Uh, two furnaces on the inside. Uh, there's the water pump. Uh, storage tanks, uh, you've got a hundred gallon uh, water, uh, clean water. You've got 128 gallon gray water, which we find to be very handy when traveling uh, long distances. Slide out uh, comes out on both sides, and you've got box storage down uh, below. So you can see with that raised rail, you get a lot of space underneath here. You can just put anything. It's great for full timers. On this side, you've got um, your 50 amp uh, power cord connecting. Also a connector for a satellite uh, or cable from the outside. Here's your battery compartment. Uh, you've got three deep cell uh, house batteries, two chassis batteries. Uh, by the way, I just replaced these in April or May of 2015, so they're uh, fairly new. So on the driver's side are two window awnings that uh, are retractable. I want to be able to show you at least a little bit of, about the awnings. Uh, both of them are uh, sort of a safety feature. You have to have shore power or the generator uh, on. So let's uh, test the generator out. There's about three places you can turn it on. Right here is the start. See it starts right up. In a few moments the AC indicator will come on showing that there's adequate power. While we're at it I'll show you the um, whole house uh, system that monitors liquids, LP gas, house battery. You can see we've got uh, a reasonable charge right now. Engine batteries brand new. Um, oh, we've got an um, inverter that I think it's a 2000 watt inverter that you can use for um, um, uh, internal uh, you know, electric uh, appliances and what have you if you don't have shore power. There you go, you see we're drawing 26 uh, amps right now. That's because I've got the air conditioner on. So the air conditioner is a true air residential system. Uh, I will show you that as it's a basement air, uh, but it means that uh, you get sort of equal air distribution uh, throughout the coach uh, as a basement air system. Uh, that's the second air conditioner. You can see it kicking on, so we now draw on 36 amps, so you can see both air conditioners are working. Let's turn this uh, awning on. 
Uh, let's see if we can extend it. There we go. And I also I'm going to put the outside one out just a little bit. But I won't take it all the way because there's an obstruction there. The awnings do have a wind speed control that will automatically retract uh, if it gets uh, too windy outside. Both of them work pretty much the same way. If you get a little wind, uh, they retract. Uh, first, the cockpit pit area. Uh, you've got adjustable power seat on the left. On the right, it's got multiple positions. Both of those, of course, swivel and turn around. Uh, you've got a full uh, color uh, um, outside um, a camera that uh, switches from the sides to the back. Uh, over here we've got a auxiliary engine brake, a battery boost for when the uh, house batteries are running a little low and you need to charge, or the coach batteries are running a little low and you need to turn it on. Uh, defrost fan air horn, it's got a six-speed Allison transmission and uh, you have there's the heated mirrors and uh, um, the um, sun visors. It has a self-leveling system. Uh, one button automatically levels the coach any place you stop or automatically retracts all of the um, hydraulic uh, levelers and automatically stores it. Okay, for the rest of the coach, let's see, let's just go down this side. We've got two pull-out storage cabinets for um, you know, cans and dry goods. Uh, two-sided resident, not residential, but two-sided uh, three-way uh, refrigerator with an ice maker in the door. Three-way meaning it runs off of uh, propane, electric, and uh, inverter. Which frankly I prefer. I'm not sure I know what to do with all the, these all-electric coaches these big refrigerators and batteries, I just don't think they're going to last very long if you, you know, need to be out on the road. Okay, some of this may be a repeat, but anyhow, we have a 37-inch uh, Samsung flat screen TV uh, fireplace, which we found to be very handy. Uh, your internal electronics, uh, DVD, CD player. Uh, this controls the various um, televisions. There are three. There's an outside, outside entertainment unit I didn't show you. Uh, this is the power antenna. There's a, a dinette area. Uh, there are two other uh, chairs that go with this that are in the back, folding chairs that go in the back so you can expand it. That table does come free if you want to uh, expand it for uh, entertaining. Uh, two picture windows which we particularly enjoy no matter where we camp. We always enjoy being able to look out two very large windows and enjoy the scenery and the view. The TD, 40 TD model has uh, sort of two ways into the back. You've got a little hallway here that has an extra curved uh, closet. The uh, alternate path into the back area is through the mid-coach bath. You have a vanity. Uh, two storage areas on either side. Several drawers and uh, you know, good for linens and what. Uh, a nice curved shower, toilet area, uh, we have two electric uh, uh, air vent fans, you can um, uh, switch those on and off in several places. The cabinetry in these are particularly nice we found, they, even though uh, we've stored them in uh, both cold as well as hot weather locations, the cabinets have held up very well. Uh, no signs of shrinking, cracking, or anything on any of the cabinets or doors. Nice feature, you have a cedar closet here in the back. The air conditioner access is right below that panel. There's your extra chairs. Additional cedar storage on this side. Oh, there is a vacuum, I didn't mention, central vacuum. There's the attachments for it. There are, I think, uh, one outlet right in the middle of the coach uh, for the central rack. Uh, here's access to the washer and dryer. We've never had to use it. And uh, so the washer and dryer is behind here. Queen size uh, sleep number bed. 
Uh, we've added an extra layer of, um, of cushioning on top, which we think makes it a little more comfortable. Inside fan. A CD system there that controls uh, both the television as well as a speaker system here in the back. And there's a uh, there's your bedroom television. Uh, don't know if I mentioned the uh, storage underneath of the window seat area. Here's your external entertainment center. Uh, I'm not sure what the size of that television is. We've got a couple of nice speakers, CD player, DVD player. Uh, can be controlled and uh, uh, pictures shown from both the inside as well as the outside. Just to give you a full sense of uh, the coach's operation, I'm going to turn the motor on. Starts right up. The uh, warning sound you hear is the air pressure uh, regaining back to um, a necessary level to travel. It's got an air brake. And, uh, oh, I guess I should mention it's got a, the horn's off. There, got a, got a cool horn. So I'm an engineer and I was always taught to take care of my things. So you're, um, one of the ways I do that is to make sure that I maintain it by the book. So I thought I would show you my uh, maintenance records. I've listed everything I've ever done. Um, I've even pulled out sections from the extensive uh, collection of, uh, of manuals, pulled out sections that I wanted to be able to access quickly and put them all in this little extra uh, binder that I prepared for myself. In the back, some wiring schematics. In the back is every work order that I've ever, uh, ever done, things that I've <coughs> acquired over the years. Uh, even have, this is really crazy, I really even have a DVD that I made of my initial um, walkthrough with the dealer where he showed me how everything works. So I made that into a DVD and an RV care and maintenance uh, that also just sort of highlights the things that uh, are required that I've done to the coach. So I think you've got to find inside, outside. Uh, it looks great and the uh, maintenance has been uh, kept up uh, very well on it. For most of the coach's life it's been stored uh, in this facility. Uh, undercover, you can see there's a roof over top. It's well shaded, got a secure wall on that side. Uh, I covered the tires. I left one open just simply because I want to show you that uh, be, uh, covering the tires makes a, a real difference. There isn't, you may not be able to see, but there isn't a crack or any show sign of wear on the tires. There's great tread if you can see in between there. So the tires, I think, still have significant uh, life to them. Uh, overall, the coach has been, as I said, well maintained, but just to add a little extra, I'm willing to buy a Good Sam service policy, a one-year service policy that will cover uh, most of the non-maintenance items on the coach uh, for uh, anyone who buys it. Thanks a lot, and if you uh, have any interest, uh, please uh, drop me a line on email or give me a call. Thanks.